Hey guys, uh, Andy here. Just wanted to give a quick, uh, um, not even an unboxing, but a quick overview of my first impressions of the IO Bridge IO-201 Wi-Fi. Uh, first impressions, it's great. Um, everything these guys do, IO-204 I have, and a bunch of the smart modules and all that good stuff, uh, it all works out awesomely. I have a couple of things already. I've done like uh, small robots that move on servos over the web. Uh, the cool thing about this one is it's tiny. Um, you can see it's like a micro USB. I'll put my hand down to, so you can see kind of how tiny it is. Um, but it operates over Wi-Fi. The setup is real quick. Uh, you plug it into power, connect to its broadcasted Wi-Fi network, uh, and then search for your Wi-Fi and add the um, add the password. There's also a WPS Wi-Fi encrypted uh, button type thing. Uh, on it as well, but I found it pretty easy just to connect using the Wi-Fi um, that it broadcasts. Uh, just to give a quick look of what it's got, it's got one channel of what IO Bridge has, um, and it's uh, analog input, digital input, digital out, ground, and uh, 5 volts. I ran some jumper cables uh, here out to a breadboard just so I could try one or two things out, uh, and this is all being powered by a uh, Anchor or Anchor, however you want to say it, 5 volt, uh, I think it's 10,000 milliamp hour, but you don't even need that much, I doubt, uh, to power it. Um, it's all being powered by that. Uh, and currently I have two things set up on my dashboard that I'll show you. Um, these are from my IO204, but these two on the left are from uh, this IO201. Uh, and basically I have a light sensor. Uh, one of The first thing I'm going to do is turn the LED on and off. Um, so just by clicking up on that computer screen, clicking off, it turns off and clicking back on. Again, all I'm doing is clicking the on and off button uh, and it's turning on and off, uh, which is really cool. The second thing I have set up is a Wi-Fi light sensor. So this is all, again, operating on Wi-Fi and on a 5-volt battery. And what I did was I hooked up a uh, light cell or a light sensor there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is put my finger over top of it. Uh, the value is currently set at... Uh, 748, uh, zero out of a thousand. I'm even shining an LED on it. I got the highest was like 980 something. So I figured that's about as bright as it'll go. Um, you can see it did just change there, probably because I'm moving around. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put my finger on it and it will auto update. So covering it up, it should take it down uh, pretty far. We'll just sit here, wait for it. Um, the analog input, if I recall from the IO204, I think it's about a five second delay maybe. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty good. So we went down quite a bit. Um, I'm going to take my finger off now. I guess depending on when it pulls. Yeah, there it went back up. So that's pretty cool. Um, within less than half an hour of me unboxing this or taking it out of the box there, uh, I was able to get it connected, get it linked to my account, uh, and wire up two little test circuits. Uh, this is all on the same one. Like I said, one channel, but one channel allows you to do a couple different things, uh, which is cool. One thing I did find, which is interesting, uh, might help somebody out in the future, is that uh, there is serial uh, for this, uh, but if you have the serial turned on, it will disable some of the basic functionality. So it's kind of, you can use uh, what's there, or you can turn it into kind of a serial monitor slash transmitter as well. So I'm kind of excited about that, not sure what I'm going to do yet, but um, make sure that's off when you're trying to actually test out the analog digital and digital out. Um, other than that, awesome, awesome product. I think they're running about $50 right now. Uh, they're on sale, so make sure to check this out on the web, uh, www.iobridge.com. Um, hope you enjoyed the video.